In our last lecture, we talked about the fact that molecules can form together to make something called a macromolecule. And another term for that would be something called a polymer. Poly means many. That's all that poly means. So a polymer is when you have many smaller molecules that bond together, and they form long molecules, much larger molecules. Like, for example, uh, I talked about in the last video, sucrose being formed by the combination of fructose plus glucose. Glucose is a very simple sugar that our body uses for energy. Fructose is another type of sugar found in nature. And then sucrose is the stuff that you put on your food. So if you have sugar in your house, if you want to bake or you want to make cookies or you put sugar on your cereal, that is sucrose. So what happens is our body breaks down sucrose in order to digest it. So we make polymers and we break them down by two processes that I'm going to talk about in the lecture today. The first type is called a condensation reaction. So a condensation reaction is how we actually make new molecules. It's how we make polymers. And we do that by removing water. So I'm going to talk about how that actually happens, right? So we have small molecules that bond together to make larger ones. And that's done through a process called a condensation reaction, where both groups lose either hydrogen or hydroxide. And in the process, they form water and they make a new molecule. So how can you remember this? Well, what does condensation mean? Condensation means the formation of water, right? So if I have a glass full of ice water that sits out on a hot summer day, what ends up happening is on the outside of that glass, water droplets start to form. And those water droplets on the glass, that's condensation, right? So that's how you can remember this. When water gets pulled out of something, that's called condensation. So what ends up happening is you have two molecules that form together to make a new molecule, and that gives off water as a byproduct. So let me just give you an example here. So what I have here is I have glucose and I have fructose, right? One of the things that we're going to talk about in this section is how these things form, right? So hydrogen is attached to the glucose and hydroxide is attached to the fructose. Well, let's say I want to make some sucrose. What can happen is I can remove this hydrogen and I can remove this hydroxide. And what ends up happening is these now attract to each other. So we just went from having a single sugar into a larger molecule, which is called a polymer. And what do you get as a byproduct? Well, if I take a look down here, I have hydrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, or H2O. So the process of making a macromolecule by combining them together, I'm removing water, so water gets given off as a byproduct, and then these two stick together. So that is called a condensation reaction. The second type of reaction that can occur is if we want to break a bond. So this is just a diagram that explains what I just said. So let's say this is a long chain of sugar molecules, and I want to add another monomer to that. I want to make a longer chain. What would happen is I would remove this hydroxide and this hydrogen, and I would get water, and then I would get this new bond forming, and that is called a condensation reaction. The second type is called a hydrolysis reaction. Lysis means to cut, so a lysis reaction is to cut. Hydro means water, so hydrolysis is the exact opposite of a condensation reaction. Hydrolysis is when you break a polymer by adding water. And this is how we digest our food, right? So if you eat your food right now, if you were to put a cracker in your mouth, you would start to feel water fill in your mouth. That's saliva, right? The water breaks down the molecule. By adding water, that's why our digestive system, that's why we need so much water inside of us. One of the things that water does is it dissolves and breaks down compounds through this process called a hydrolysis reaction. So let me go over that example I gave before, but now we're going to do the opposite. So now let's say I want to break this bond. I want to break it apart. So now I have my water molecule. I add my water molecule, so let's say it's attached, I add it here, and what ends up happening is it splits this apart, and the hydrogen goes to one, and the hydroxide goes to the other, and now we have two new molecules, I'm going to group them together just so I can show you how they separate, that are now, those are now a separate molecule, and those are now a separate molecule. So they are going to now stay separated until, well, let's get that out of there. So these are now their own separate molecules, and that was a hydrolysis reaction. So if I go back to the notes, 
um, you can see I take my molecule, I add water, and I end up getting two new products. So this diagram just shows that, right? So I have a long chain of whatever, it could be sugars, it doesn't matter, a long chain of molecules. If I add water, that's going to break the bond. So just as a quick review, a condensation reaction is going to build a molecule. You're going to use that to make a longer macromolecule or a polymer. And that is done by removing water. So you take water out. So I'm just going to go back to this diagram. So this is a condensation reaction. I have hydrogen and a hydroxide. I pull them out. I get water as a byproduct. And then these two molecules get together and I get a longer chain, making a longer polymer. The second type is called a hydrolysis reaction, and that is when we add water and that breaks the molecule apart. So just make sure you know the difference between a condensation reaction and a hydrolysis reaction. Thank you very much.